I'm gonna make pancakes. Mommy, who are you talking to? That is really annoying us. I want to turn my video to a real video. So. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome to Cass's Kitchen. That's right. Today, 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 we're making some pancakes. Yeah. We're going to need two bowls. One for the dry ingredients and one for the liquid ingredients. I normally use this recipe, um, the American cookbook recipe. I will put the details up so you know exactly what you need. We're going to need two eggs, caster sugar, buttermilk. Actually, no, I'll tell you like This is... um butter um normally or ideally you should use non-salted butter for this but i haven't got it and it's not the end of the world if i use normal butter buttermilk this is like the i don't know this has definitely this definitely makes such a difference self-raising flour baking powder and most importantly skill yeah, let's start off with the dry ingredients first so we're gonna need 300 grams of self-raising flour. Looks like it's just gonna be. Oh, oh no! It's got 257. Now that's not good. Luckily, I have one that was at number four. Just make sure there's no self-raising. I don't know. Quality might vary, but. Oh goodness me. 300 grams of flour. We've got 60 grams of caster sugar. It's funny, I use this recipe all the time and I still don't know the baby. One teaspoon of baking powder. The good thing about when they say one teaspoon, one thing I've realized from good old Mary Berry, when you see one teaspoon of baking powder, it's gonna be it together so we've got the eggs it's going in two eggs and then the buttermilk that's the buttermilk gone in right okay guys honestly i woke up this morning and i'm just like do you know what i am really sick and tired of this pandemic i was proper doing my head in and i thought do you know what so what should i do i felt like doing something very drastic today i thought it's either i cut my hair all off and dye it blonde or i get up out of the house and paint it like proper bright just something that would make me feel like you know just something that's just different I thought, is it that or I go for a bloody long walk where I just walk, 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 walk and just keep walking until my legs are weak and I just really desperately need to get back home. A bit intense, yeah, I know. I, that's just how I feel this morning. So I just thought, right, what should I do then? Because that looks like I might just end up hurting myself. So what's the most practical, logical thing to do? Someone's at the door. Who's that? Right. I literally just got a package. Now, guess what this is? I'm just gonna put the food outside. Just got a package. And if you've watched my previous video, you would know the challenge I had the last time. I um, I was trying to film my um, the sea bass I was cooking. So yesterday I thought, you know what? I better get another tripod. And I hope it works. So now I have got another tripod, a phone stand. I really hope this is as practical as it looked. Mine, what the? As it looked on my flipping helmet. This is not even as clear. Watered. What in? Wow, this is a weapon of mass destruction fam. I'm just trying to film here like I'm going to gosh right okay well I'm gonna take out that one now I'm gonna try this one and give it a go wow. seems pretty good but gotta wash my hands so let's get back to the cooking shall we now that 
have a good tripod stand. I'm gonna give it a go. Right, okay, okay, okay. What we've got here, I can't even remember. I'm like, stop. I feel like I'm learning for an exam. So, butter, butter, butter. So, we're gonna need 60 grams of unsalted butter. Unfortunately, I don't have unsalted butter, and I feel like it's not the end of the world if I use no more butter. What's the worst that could happen? It would taste like salt a little bit. There we go. Right, anyway, so clearly I'm in a bit of a mood today. I just thought, do you know what? I'm gonna do something fun to keep myself going. And yeah. Okay, so the melted butter goes in. To make it even more fluffy, we're just gonna whisk it in. Right, so we're going to get the the dry ingredients. And we're gonna try and create a hole in the middle just so that we can pour the liquid ingredients in there. Just so that it will be easy to kind of stir. So that goes right in the middle. Right in the middle. Just going to get the oil ready for the pancakes. delicious don't forget to subscribe to my channel make sure you comment like and let me know what you think and i'll see you in my next video peace